Bring her in. Bring her in. Globa. Do you want to read the best Tinder pickup line? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even say anything about that on stream yesterday, and my chat was just like, Mr. Williams. What's your best Riz? And they were like <laughs> offering like Minecraft pickup lines. I hope we see some of those today. Hey, well, what's good, you guys? Fun fact, people always ask how we met. Me and Elle met on Tinder. And do uh, you want to tell them my Riz? I, I sent the first message. Tell them my Riz. It was literally like anime, gym, music, something. No, 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 that, that was your bio. Yeah, what, what you I said, said something first. about that. No, I said, here's what I said. I said, what's up, sexy? Let me see those fat titties. Yeah! <laughs> He actually said nothing at all. He didn't. You didn't even use a pickup line. I don't need a pickup line. I'm I'm smoking hot, gigantic cock, black, six five, two forty five, rich, handsome. I have three dogs. This one's mine. <laughs> Listen, my point is, we're gonna get married. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait! And we met on Tinder, so I actually believe that I am the consulate. I have a good opinion on this, you know what I mean? Like, we can actually judge. That is true. We found the best, or maybe the worst, Tinder is. Let's see how it is. Let's we'll start off with Sarah. So, what's your favorite dinosaur? Like, if you wanted one, what you get? That would've worked if I had said that to you. You would've loved that question. I, I actually, yeah, I probably wouldn't make She it. said, hmm, I don't know enough about dinosaurs to have a favorite, but Triceratops looks pretty cute. But just a small one that isn't gonna trample me, you? That's a pretty good choice. <laughs> I want to try Ceratopsis. Think you can help me. Yo! That actually was so fucking, that was good. So you have to be talking to someone named Sarah. Sarah. Right? If you have a Sarah in your life, you know what to That's say. That's ultra specific, but it does work. She's she's swipe, a she's swipe, a two swipe, out of ten, clinically obese. But her name is Sarah. But his name is Sarah, so you had to whip it out. Jordan, weird question, but are you a redneck? I am not. Oh, I assume since your name was Jordan, you were a little country? Why? I'm sorry you said you like puns and Jordan is an actual country. Uh, Boo! That was stupid, I know. She said, I was too sleepy to get it, but that is nuanced. She knew the the word nuanced, so he gotta, he gotta keep her. Elle doesn't know what that means. <laughs> she actually doesn't. You actually don't know what that means, do you? It never would've worked on Elle. She goes, Jordan, that's not a country. That's the basketball <laughs> player. <laughs> Isn't it something in the Bible? It's because it's a country. I'm gonna rate that one a two out of 10. I'm giving it a flat zero, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you are so charming and hot. My brain doesn't know if he wants to cuddle, pull your hair, or both at the same time. Ha ha ha. I don't think I've ever been called charming before. I like it. I just so happen to like cuddling and getting my hair pulled. That's pulled. disgusting, I hate it every single time. That's that like cringe. major cringe. Major cringe. Let's be nice. Listen though, guys, you gotta understand something. When people make that joke, you ever seen that meme where they'll put like a really ugly guy on the left and under it, it'll say sexual harassment and then they'll put like a giga chat like me on the right and it'll say Riz. That is genuinely so true. Like if a girl already wants to hook up with you and they're on Tinder just to hook up with you, it doesn't fucking matter what you say. I could have said poo poo balls to Elle and I was gonna clap her cheeks. You know what I mean? No. If that's all you <laughs> said to me, I probably would <laughs> Like, if I said poo poo balls, you would have loved it. That's no, my favorite thing. Know. It's your favorite <laughs> it's, thing that I say. He says it so much, guys. <laughs> I'm, in <your> I'm, <laughs> in your walls, I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. You passed initiation onto phase two, Tom Foolery. Oh, he got a good one. I like that. I feel like if you said I'm in your walls, though, like don't use this thinking it's Riz. 90% of girls will block you for that. Is that like the other nine percent or something? No, they're just being weird. Like I'm in your walls. Like people used to say it to me on stream all the time. They'd be like, I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. That's an automatic block. Don't ever use that. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. I'm in your balls. <laughs> nice. <laughs> receive a cheesy pickup line. Press one to receive a generic salutation. Press two to receive a crude sexual advance. Press three to replay message. Press one. This is actually really good. For Tinder, I would say this is pretty fucking good, Riz, right here. Because most people on Tinder do either one or three, which is a cheesy pickup line or a crude sexual advance. Nice legs. What time do they open right now? Digits. Wow. That was short, sweet, Dude, and to the point. You match with Delaney on 12 1 15. This guy was rizzing in 2015. Oh my god, what a savage. I just, it's cringe. You don't like it? No, um, I would not. Wouldn't have worked on L, gentlemen. It'll work on a six that wants to sleep with you. But if you want a 10, you gotta bring out the big guns. Like, hey, bitch, let me see those big old titties. Let's go home! Let's go home! Oh, 
I'll have you know, Matt literally asked to. He said he wanted to take me out to breakfast, and then we proceeded to go out to breakfast. Those big Captain Jack Sparrow would put those cannons on the black parade. Okay, next one. <laughs> You must get real mad every time you walk into the kitchen. I like this one. Why is that? Since you probably realize that you're the only snack in the house. Ah. That's probably the best one that's been Ha ha me. ha, cute. Thank you. This guy's not getting laid. 0% chance she gets laid. She was about at 8 a.m. He was about at 9.30, an hour 20 later. Nine hours later, she says, ha ha ha, cute. Thank you. At that point, she sends that message. You're not getting laid. Sorry, mom. How nerdy you want it to be. Surprise me. Can you guess? Oh, Jesus. This would get you laid by Matt. This would literally get you laid by Matt. <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. Can you guess what F of X equals E to the X in our relationship have in common? <laughs> Oh my god, this would literally get you laid. Man. Oh, if I said that to Matt, I literally could- if, <laughs> if I was taking statistics the same time that I matched with Matt on Tinder, okay. I literally could have just taken one of my homework problems, copy, pasted, and Matt would have been all That's over it. You know, I will say in all my time on dating apps, no one has ever said anything intellectual to me ever. I would say you're beautiful, but beauty comes from the inside out, and I haven't been inside you yet. <laughs> It's too aggressive to work, but I like it. Miranda. Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was, I like that one. It's so funny. We both use the same one. It's not okay to steal people's lines. I could have you arrested and read your Miranda right. Very clever. Very clever. But I if like you're that, that clever, you're not good at sex. So this guy's... So you're not good at sex? Oh, why don't you tell him how good I am at sex? Every time we're done, Elle goes, Matt, have I ever told you how good you are at sex? <laughs> yeah! Roses are red. I like to drink... Carling, you're really pretty. Would you be my darling? No. I would never wanted he said no. to fucking shut my phone up so bad. Alas, his poem was not quite enough. Young Daniel will continue his search for some uh, fuck. Ah, this is so cringe. I read one. I feel like I'm not talking. That's what we need. More L talking. Country oh, take, take me home. home. I mean, if you insist. That's not the way. Wait, that's the best pickup line I've ever heard. And I second that. Yo, this one's a <laughs> fucking bar. This is actually a bar. This is so good. See, you know what sucks though? Like as a guy, when you nail a pickup line like this, but they, they, they kind of shut the door on the response. By saying it's the best. By saying that's line. the pickup line I've ever heard. Like, what's the response? Like, haha, thanks. Or like, okay, so are you coming over what bitch? I already asked once. Okay. You want me to ask three fucking times, whore? I feel like that's the generic response. Like, that's what I would say. You know, if you remove the D from your name, it becomes May. Wow, would you look at that? <laughs> so the question is, do you want the D? That's the most clever thing I've ever heard. That's the most clever thing you've ever heard? You're a fucking idiot. This was a bar, though. This was a bar. You so see, you, dude, that's a good. That was actually That's really a good, good Tinder pickup line. You just get them to say anything's clever, smart, or funny, and then you just say, how good was it on a scale of blank? Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. You should use it. Oh. Uh she gave me permission, guys. I'm vegan too. No way. Yeah, no, that's why I swiped right. Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. How long have you been vegan for? That was stupid. Started this conversation. God. I'm gonna pick a line. Also, you're insulting her being vegan. Your odds of smashing, I would say, are legitimately zero at this point. Dude, I tell you what, though. I'm not a big Bernie Sanders fan, but if they got Bernie Sanders in their bio, all you gotta do, oh my god, I love Bernie. Fucking slid in, cheeks clapped. She'll try and sell you some crystal voodoo magic, bro. She'll start reading you tarot cards in your palm, telling you you're fucking Scorpio, your your sun sign, your one hour later. Out of her thigh with her fucking 18 dead sisters' names on it. One eternity later. But you will clap. What's the difference between me and my couch? One's more fun to sit on than the other, sort of. The real difference is that. Let me smash. Let me smash. Yo! Oh, and it worked. What a dog! <laughs> See, I don't think let me smash out the gates would work. But it's funny. Dude, you know what? You know what you guys should do? You should just say let me smash the next 100 people you match with and just like give me the percentage. If anybody tells you that there's actually something that always works or that consistently works, they're completely wrong. It is not true. Literally every single girl is different and a different thing will work on every single one of them. There is no catch all. There is no way to be God. You can increase your percentages, but you, you can't, there's no trick. If someone ever told you they found a trick or they do this or they do that, they're a fucking scammer or they're really insecure. Change. You're gorgeous. When do you have any free time? I, I 
probably would answer to some. That was like nice and not. Let me get in your pants. You know what? Yeah. The emojis made it kind of weird, but subtract those and I'd say you're a 10 out of 10. I think the biggest problem with dating apps is nobody ever actually meets up. I feel like 90% of people on there are just there for attention. So it is pretty good. Like you can kind of weed out the nonsense if you if you openly ask for like to hang out. Like when do you have any free time? And they go, ha ha, IDK. You guys, I almost <laughs> I almost didn't go hang out with Matt for the first time. Cause See, I, they all do this shit. I got scared. I did, I, I did, I'm guilty of that. I never hung out with people because I thought I was going to get kidnapped or something. So why do you think I wasn't going to kidnap? I don't know. I almost canceled on you last second with I was looking like a bum too. I respected it. Like, wow, this girl cares about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she wore an XXL gray. No, no, no. You wore a quarter zip, yellow neon sweatpants. <laughs> no, my shirt was neon. I was wearing like black mom Oh, jeans. black. I got dressed up looking nice. Like, oh, there's pretty girls coming over. I was like, fuck it. Another day, another dollar. I was best fit was yellow, yellow snow pants and a fucking parka. Dude, it clearly worked. Look at Aww. us now. Do you like bees? I love bees, but from a distance. Could have fooled me. <gasps> that would you... work. That would work. That was cute. Hey, Matt. Having a nice oh, day. Matt. Suggested oh, message. Are you guys this fucking lazy? You need chat GPT and Tinder to fucking send a message? I, I sent, this is Matt and I's conversation. I sent this to Matt. Like, not really, but I should have. I bet it would, 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 would have worked. I'd say, do you like bees? And you say, yeah. I say, well, I like C's better. So I'm gonna see them titties. You look like the perfect applicant to be, no. Ah, uh, to be your wife, bro? Come on. We're just on here for a quick sex. In the fucking bathroom stall. I'm just here for the 800 credit score. And I guess the girl with the pretty smile is a bonus too. I don't get it. So he's outing himself as paying for Tinder gold <laughs> and also comes in with the cringe line. This is a fucking negative two out of 10. This might be my okay, least favorite. The again. second part, the the girl with the pretty smile as a bonus isn't bad, but the, I don't know what he was planning with the first line. Look at this fucking AI. They've got an AI that responds to you. Nice to meet is, you, his Frank. His name is Frank. What does that mean? I got a viewer out there who's named Frank 100%. Somebody watching us is named Frank, so why don't you tell them what you think of? Unless your last name is Ocean. What? Tell them. Insult them to their face. Come on, no, because you're already started it, so why don't you finish it? Unless your last name is Ocean or maybe Sinatra. Insult them. You can't do it, can you? Insult them to their face. You were about to, so you might as well. Nobody's name is Frank. Yes, there are so many people named Frank. Not that watch you. You do not understand how many comments there will be from people named Frank. Frank, I want you to understand, <laughs> Elle believes that you're a degenerate. A loser. You'll never get play. You'll no, never close. No, you'll never I have don't. a wife. No, you'll never I find no, love. Because your name is Frank. That's I what just she said. think you should change your name. <laughs> what? <Dude. laughs> what do you mean by that? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Hey there. Your style is unmatched, TBH. Also, you seem very outgoing. I'm gonna give that a four. It's just no, so mid. And that's something I would say. He went, for the, he went for the fucking jambalaya, dude. He's like, okay, so either she's gonna be happy about her style or she'll be happy that she's very outgoing. So I'm just gonna hit them both. It work on me. Hey, Someone Al. complimented my style. Earlier today, Matt told me I looked like a pilgrim. <laughs> <laughs> I said she looked Amish. <laughs> and then I went in the closet and changed. And now I'll probably burn that oh shirt. Oh my God. Elle has, Elle has amazing style, but we've been dating for almost a year now. I'm allowed to tell you when you look Amish. She looked like she was about to churn some fucking butter. She, said she was going into, she was going to fucking milk the cows and push the wheelbarrow down the hill and you I would never hear that. That just wouldn't <laughs> come out of that mouth. All right, that's enough. That's enough Tinder for one day. Hit me with your best pickup one. If we weren't dating and we were back on Tinder and Ooh. this is me. I said let me nut on that face. Good god. I said let me smack those titties around. I'd say move to Arizona with me so I can smack those titties every day. That's not even a pickup line. I'd say, Elle, you're my future wife. Didn't you know that? Didn't you know that, idiot? <laughs> Here'd be my pickup line. I'd say, what's the difference between jam and jelly? He said this the first on our I did. I hit Elle with this on our first date. Actually and said then it to I the hit the waitress too. with it too. <laughs> what's the difference between jam and jelly? I can't jelly my dick in your ass, but I can jam it.